As hard as it is, Key was right back to Revenue Minister Todd McClay, who quietly told a conference of financial advisors in Queenstown last week he had asked officials to look at the unilateral moves some governments have taken to impose consumption taxes on physical and virtual online sales. South Africa changed its rules from June 1 last year to require suppliers of digital services to regist register for VAT, Value Added Tax, and collect the tax at the point of payment. Initial signs are positive. Threw his hands up in the air when he found out how much his car's repair would cost. What? Two thousand dollars? Okay. Really, really angry, upset, frustrated, a combination of everything. She threw her hands up in the air after being unable to solve the English problem. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Surprise, anger, all that combination of all those feelings. And I'm sure we've all done it at one time or another. Okay? You get frustrated, how am I going to fix this? Up go the hands. How am I going to fix this problem? Okay? If you've got teenagers, probably more, more so. Okay? But it's just the idea of expressing frustration. But here, they're saying the companies, they threw their hands up in the air. We're not going to get involved in all this. New computer systems, new things we've got to do, maybe lose customers. We don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. Uh, we all know what checkbooks are, okay? Although there's not too many around these days. Consumers, who are consumers? There's one, People two, three, buy, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the room here, mm -hmm. okay? We buy and use stuff, okay? Okay, next gentleman, please. Thank you, Howard. you right there. The Minister Todd McClay. McClay, uh, who quickly told the conference of financial advisors in Queenstown last week, he had asked officials to look after an internal unilateral move to one and some government had taken to impose consum consumption, consumption taxes. taxes on physical and virtual online sales. Okay. So as hard as it is, so Keegan knows this is a difficult thing he's trying to do. So as hard as it is, he was right back to Revenue Minister. Revenue Minister, who's this guy? He's the guy that's in charge of collecting money from every New Zealander. Okay? He's your best friend, maybe. Okay? He, he's probably in charge of the, the IRD. IRD. Yeah, okay. Uh, who quietly told a conference of financial advisors, they give advice to the government on finance matters. In Queenstown, last week, he had asked officials to look into the unilateral. Unilateral means one way, one way. Unilateral, one way. You could say, just for example, China made a unilateral decision to ban New Zealand milk products. In other words, just China. Only we don't want New Zealand products. No other country joined in. Not the rest of the world, not America, Europe, just China. That's a unilateral decision. One, one nation, one, one country. Okay? Uni is one. Okay? One itself. One only. So a unilateral decision uh, to look at some uh, some governments, unilateral moves some governments have taken 
to impose consumption taxes. To impose? Sound good? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's negative. Yeah. Imposes, they're forcing it on you. Okay? Just for example, the government imposed a new tax on cell phones. We can raise some money by taxing cell phones. Okay? This is, but this is how we sometimes may see it. I don't want to impose on you, but thank you for your offer to help me. That's a situation like somebody's in trouble, and you offer them, would you like to stay at my house for a couple of days? And you want to, but you want to be polite about it, so I don't want to impose on you. Because extra people, you know? It's like you've got friends coming out from Korea or wherever, and they, can we stay at your house for a couple of days? You know, sometimes it turns to a couple of months, okay? But they, they don't want to force themselves on you. So they would generally say, I don't want to impose, but could we stay for a week? Okay? I don't want to make it difficult for you, basically. But, uh, imposing a law is generally done with a little bit of force. We don't care whether you like it or not, this is what's going to happen. Okay? But, be aware of this one, because this is used quite a lot. It's very polite. I don't want to impose on you, but can I stay for a week? And then yes or no. Okay. Uh, so, consumption taxes, user taxes, physical and virtual online. Okay, physical sales, what? You walk to the shop, pay your money, take the product. Online, you sit there in front of the computer, bang, bang, bang. Okay? Virtual, I mean, virtual. A lot of stuff is virtual these days. Okay, So physical, you go to the shop, buy it, pay for it, walk out with it in a bag. Virtual, you sit on the computer, everything goes through the, the air, and eventually you get your product. Okay. Next, next point. South Africa changed its rules last year to require suppliers of digital services, that's the online buying stuff, okay? Uh, to register for VAT, value added tax, is very common in Europe. We don't have it here in New Zealand. GST has pretty much done that. But in Europe, everything has a VAT. And you pay it at that time when you buy it. Okay? Uh, and collect the tax at the point of payment. Initial signs means what? Not everything. No. <laughs> Initials. I know what you mean. No. Initials. First reaction. First reaction. Initial means at the beginning. Reactions, first reactions, then later on maybe they changed. But 
the initial reactions to the new tax were not good. What? Another tax? You can giving us more tax? Okay, so initial reactions to the new tax were not good. Here, initial signs uh, were good. I think as I said here. Positive. Uh, positive, yeah. Positive is good, obviously. So initial signs seems like it's gonna work. Okay. Next one please. <coughs> 